There are actually 20 ways to lose this bet and only 16 ways to win, which means you're at a 44% chance of winning this bet. Hey guys, welcome to Martin Point. Um, are you going to Vegas? Are you going to a casino maybe for the first time? Or maybe you've been there before and you've watched this game of craps and you don't know exactly what's going on. Well, I tell you what, it's actually not as hard as you might think. Um, there are a lot of numbers, a lot of combinations, and there are a lot of bets. But really, it's not that difficult. Just think about it this way. You have two dice. You have 36 combinations. Well, six of them are the bad number, and 30 can make you money. How does it roll out for you? Well, watch this video. I'm going to show you how the bets work, how some of the game is played in a little bit easier fashion. That way, the next time you play craps or you walk up to the casino, you will know what you're doing and you won't feel like you're intimidated by the game. Okay, guys, follow along. Okay, guys, the game of craps really isn't that difficult. But we're going to start off with some of the basics that you have here. That way you know what you're going to do if you go up to the craps table. Now, the first thing that we're talking about is the most important thing is when to buy in and, and what to do. So this puck right here, typically if you're walking up to the table, you'll see that it shows on right here. If it shows on, do not buy in. Do not put any money on the table. Do not make any bets. Why? Because this game is in session. And typically what you're going to wait for is that puck to be turned off. I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute and how it shows. Make sure that puck is turned off first. And once it's off, then we can make the appropriate next steps. Okay, here we go. Let's just say, as of right now, the puck is off. So we're going to say the puck is off right now. So what do we do? If you're interested in playing the game, the first thing you do is get some cash. Now, I have some cash here. And just for the note, these bets do not work with cash. They'll give you check change. So, right, so what happens, you'll drop $300 down to the dealer, and they will count it out. They'll count out one, two, three hundred dollars just like that and what they'll do they'll ask you how do you want it so basically you can say i want it in greens and reds so that's 100 that's 200 and that's 300 dollars. so what they'll do is they'll verify that's 300 dollars by the pit boss they'll take this money to the side now remember the reason why you're waiting for that puck to turn off because they'll do all this in the middle of the table and when the if the puck is on then that will distract the game it'll pick everything to a halt so again make sure that puck is off they're going to take this money. They're going to pass it over to you. Let's just say you're on this side of the table. We're going to move it over. I'm going to do it for, for viewing sake. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick them all up. I'm just going to put them into the rack. So let's just say this is our rack. This is what we're going to be using our money for. Okay, so all of our money is actually right here. Let's just say depending on wherever you're sitting. I'm going to do it right here for video purposes. Okay. So the first thing you're going to see a couple of bets here is you have a pass line, a don't pass line. You have a bunch of box numbers. Well, the most common bet in the casino, and if you want to play this way, this is okay. I'm just going to teach you a little bit about it. Now, remember, these are the basics. These are not exactly how I would play or how I would suggest you play it, but these are the basics of what these bets are. You have a pass line bet. So what happens is when the puck is off, let's just say there's a $10 minimum table, only $10. You only have to put a minimum of either $10 on the pass line or the don't pass. Okay. This helps you activate the game. Let's just say you put $10 on the pass line. Now, a 7 or 11, you actually win this bet, and you'll win even odds, okay? you win even odds there, and you'll take that bet back, and you'll go back to your rack right here. Now, if a 2, 3, or 12 rolls while the puck, again, is still off, you will lose this bet, okay? The casino will take it away, and you just have to replace it back. But any other number rolls, let's just say it hits the 5. If it hits the 5, now basically what you're waiting for is you're waiting for the 5 to roll prior to the seven or big red. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the five to roll. Now, while there are a lot of other bets on the table, I'm going to talk about the most predominant numbers or the most likely numbers to roll. In this case, we're going to talk about the six and the eight. Okay. The six and the eight, there's five combinations to roll a six and there's five combinations to roll the eight. That is 10 total combinations. And yes, there are six ways to roll a seven. So that means you're at advantage if you're playing the six and the eight. Now, because it's a $10 table and these bets pay seven to six, the casino will require you to play these bets in $6 increments, most casinos. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these bets, it's called a place bet. We're going to put them at $12. Remember, if it's a $10 bet or a $10 table, increments of six, that means six times two is 12. You have two unit sizes here. This is a unit. That is one unit. $10 is considered two units, but you need a cap of $2, which means $12 total, okay? Now, how this pays out, it pays seven to six. 
So I'm going to break it out so you can kind of see it a little bit easier here. Now, again, if it pays seven to six, that means for every six dollars, the casino will pay you seven dollars, just like that. So that's seven dollars. But because you have two units, which means it'll actually pay you $14 for that $12 bet. That's how it pays out. Let's pull this back. Now, it's going to work the same way with an eight. You have a $12 bet. That 12, you pay you $14. Now, let's just say it's a higher table. Um, I'm going to show you at a $15 level. Now, if this has a $15 minimum, okay, for just for purposes, let's say it's $15 minimum. That means for every red chip you're gonna need a white chip because you need a cap for every red for the six and eight, you need a white chip. So now that's an $18 bet. Well, if you take that idea of it pays seven to six, you have three units and three times seven is 21. So you know that that payout is gonna be $21 if you hit a $15 bet or an $18 bet because of the cap, it pays you $21. Now let's talk about how you can press these bets. I'm gonna go back out there at a $12 level for each. Okay. And again, I'm going to show you how, if you say a press, what a press means is you're taking your original bet and they're going to give you a payment. If you say press me one unit, they're going to take $6 and they're going to press it up. So now you have an $18 bet and they're going to give you this money back to your rack and you'll rack it. Now, if you say full press, what they're going to do is they're going to give you the most common bet that there is. In this case, remember, it's a $12 bet. They pay you 14, so they're going to press you all the way up to a $24 bet, which makes it a good bet, and then they'll give you that $2 back to your rack. Now, let's do this thing on the 5 and 9, and I'm going to show you how those pay out as well. Now, if you want to put bets on the 5 and 9, let me show you something. So you see how you have your pass line and your points already established? That means already you're playing the point of 5. That means you've already got money working for you on the 5. Now, remember, this only pays you even odds. On the pass line, it always only pays you even odds. The box pays more. Now, on the nine here, let's just say you wanted that same $10. That $10 here pays you seven to five. So that means for every $5, the dealer will pay you $7. So if you have $10 here, that'll also pay you $14. Again, seven times two, this is two units, it's $14. Versus the pass line, if you hit the five, it'll only pay you $10. Now I'm gonna use the same concept and tell you how to press this butt. So if I wanted to press that nine, again, it pays you $14. If you're gonna say a single press, it'll take that $5 and put it on top to make it a $15 bet. And then you'll rack the rest of the bet just like that. And same thing, if you tell them, I wanna to go to a full press, then what they'll do is they'll actually take you $10. They'll place you $10, which makes it a $20 bet. That's a full press. And then they'll give you the $4 back into your rack. Now, maybe in our next video, we'll talk about power pressing, but at this time, we're going to keep it at the single press or full press. For the 4 and 10, there's three combinations of roll of 4, and there's three combinations of roll of 10. Now, you can also put these at $10 bets, $10 levels, just like that. Now, these bets will pay you 9 to 5. Again, why? It's because they're less likely to roll a 4 and a 10 than there are a 6 and an 8. In case you have $10 here, so what they'll do is they'll pay 9 times 2, which is $18. So they'll pay you $18 for this bet because it's nine to five. You have two fives here. So nine times two is 18. Now, if you want to press this bet, again, the four works the exact same way. If you want to press this bet to a single bet, a single press, then they'll simply take that $15 and they'll give you the rest back. Now, if you want to do a full press, it works a little bit different with a 10. Sometimes you'll see a button that's called the buy button. And the reason what they're doing is basically you're paying a VIG or you're paying a commission to get paid full odds on a 10. So what they'll do is if you do a full press, they'll take you up to a $20 bet and they're gonna, it's gonna cost you a dollar in VIG to do that. So now rather than getting paid nine to five, now you're getting paid true casino odds, which is a two to one bet, okay? So basically the difference is if you didn't buy this bet, and it was just a straight place bet at $20, it would only pay you $36. But because you gave them that dollar VIG, now it pays you two to one. So now that $20 bet will actually pay you $40 instead of 36. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of other bets out here. We're gonna talk about the fuel bet next. The fuel bets consist of a two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, 12. What you'll notice here is there's not a five, there's not a six, and not an eight. The three through 11 are even odds, meaning if you hit a three, four, nine, 10, 11, 
they'll pay you even even bets. Again, go into a ten dollar table. It's always self service, so you'll put the ten dollars down. If it hits the four, it'll pay you even odds, and you'll take that bet back to your rack. Now, however, if you hit a five, six, or eight, you'll actually lose this bet because it's not listed in the field, and you'll lose that bet, and you have to put ten more dollars out there and play the field. Okay. Now, a two or a twelve could pay you different bets. In most casinos that I've seen lately, the 2 and the 12 now only pay double, but there are some casinos out there that the 12 pays triple. If it does pay triple, that means you'll get paid triple your bet. So 10, 20, 30. So that would be your payment. You take all this back and go back to your rack. And of course, the 2 would pay double, so it would pay you $20 for that bet. Now, don't be fooled. Because you do see all these numbers listed here, it looks like you're covering the 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, that looks like you're covering a lot. But if you take all the combinations of the dice, there's 36 combinations. There are actually 20 ways to lose this bet and only 16 ways to win, which means you're at a 44% chance of winning this bet. Turn that around. You're going to lose this bet 66% of the time. So that's not a great bet if you're playing these bets. Now, the last bet that we're going to talk about today is this come bet. So this come bet is much like the pass line bet, but it's after the point is established. You remember when you had that pass line bet, the puck was off, and you placed that bet, and at that point in time, a 2, 3, or 12, you would lose it, but a 7 or 11, you would make it. Well, now the puck is on. Now you have a come bet here, and basically that's also self-service. So let's just say it's $10. We're going to drop down $10 into the come. So basically what's going to happen is, Remember, the next roll of the dice is where that bet will travel to. Remember, let's talk about the pass line. Pass line is 7-11, you win, 2-3-12. Well, that's the same thing for here. The putt may be on, but while that bet is in the come area, if it's a 7 or 11, you'll win this bet. If it's a 2, 3, or 12, you'll lose that bet. Now, let's just say it rolls an 8. If it rolls an 8, this will travel here. And now, rather than having a place bet like you saw earlier, now this is a come bet which means it'll pay even odds, much like the pass line. If you hit an eight prior to hitting a seven, they'll pay even odds. So they'll pay you $10 and they'll take that money down. It'll come through the come and it'll totally, everything will come back to your rack just like that. And if you want to come back out for a second come bet, you can do that. Now you can like cope multiple come bets in one series, meaning let's just say it rolls an eight. This will travel to the eight. You can make another bet. If you make another bet, Let's just say it goes to the nine. It'll come to the nine. Again, it'll go to the inside. Each of these are even odds. Now, these are contract bets, meaning once you make that bet and it travels to a, a number, you can no longer move this bet. You can no longer take it down. At that point in time, it's locked into the casino and it's a contract bet, which means on a seven, you will lose these bets. But if it hits the number, you actually win this bet, regardless if that puck is on or if it's off. These bets are always working 100% of the time. Maybe the last thing we're going to talk about is when to make these bets. You can make these place bets at any point in time. However, it's totally up to you to how much you want to wager, how much you want to go across, inside, or whatever bet you want to make. And remember, you can actually on a place bet, let's just say I want the 6 and the 8 for 12 each. A place bet is not contract, which means you can always turn this off anytime you want to. You can bring it down anytime you want to, and it'll come back to your rack. It's totally up to you of how long you want to let that bet stay out there. Again, if it pays your bets, you have the right to say, if it pays you $14, you can say, dealer, take my six down. And basically what they'll do is they'll take this back, and they'll take it all the stack in front of you, and you can put that all that back to your rack just like that. And now you only have an eight working for you, and let's just say a five. Again, this is the only bet that's contract that you cannot remove. Now, these are just the basics of craps. These are the basic bets that you'll see. So you're not intimidated when you walk up to the table of not knowing exactly what's going on. If you want to see a little bit more advanced bets, more power pressing, regressing, and moves like that at the table, I'm going to have more videos coming out like this coming out soon. So make sure you stay tuned and watch. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you enjoy content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and put a comment down below, hey, I'm new to craps or I'm learning. That way we can kind of help you out if you have any questions. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, mark the point and stay awesome.